Today we're going to make some snails based on the book Swirl by Swirl. You're going to have one piece of paper this big. It might be a square, it might be a rectangle, but one will be big and the other one will be smaller. And these two papers need to be different colors. They cannot be the same color. On your big paper, you're going to take a paint tray. I'm trying to scoot it over towards the edge to give myself some room over here for more body parts. You're going to take the paint tray and trace the paint tray. Then every table will have two of these. We're going to share them with your next door neighbor. And you need to take one of these. They're going to be snail eyes. And trace it two times on your page. So there's one. And there is, since my pencil works, there is two. So this will be a body, these will be eyes. On your little paper, fold it in half so the short edge touches the short edge. It'll look like a book. We take a lid and we trace it. Keeping it folded, we cut and then it gives us two. You're also going to cut these things out as well. Now you have one giant circle, two smaller circles. We need to take the giant circle, fold it in half. Then we take the two little circles, we put them together, make it so they're eating the big circle on the flat side. This will be the snail shell. So we make sure they're both covering up the snail's body. I'm gonna lift up this edge, put some glue on here and stick it down. And then lift this up and it gets glued too. And stick it down. And flip. Okay shell is on the body. And then our little eyeballs just need a little bit of glue at the bottom. Once everything is glued, the book was called Swirl by Swirl for a reason because it was showing all the swirls in nature. So we need to make a swirl on that snail shell and then you can decorate it a little more. You can jazz it up a bit and you need to make sure your little snail friend has a personality. So I'm going to give mine some eyes and some eyelashes. and a happy mouth. And don't forget that not just the front side needs decorated, you also need to decorate the back. Make a swirl on the back of your snail and then you can make your shell as fancy as you would like. But the fun part about these is that once they're all done and you stand them up, they rock. 